right, students, welcome back, everyone. This is uh, a new lecture in the uh, production. And we will talk here right now about the uh, production manufacturing. Uh, and we are talking actually in the production manufacturing about the characteristics of manufacturing or characteristics, you can say characteristics of production, characteristics of production or characteristics of manufacturing. Though it's used, uh, like we said, synonyms like, uh, but manufacturing goes more for products or services. So the first thing in the characteristics, character, characteristics of uh, manufacturing is the specialization. Specialization means division of work or of us. We do the work, each one of us do a specified part of the work a specified part of the work. This is why this will increase the skills of doing the work, will lower the time of finishing this work, and the precise of the work, and uh, it will be more accurate and more precise in that case. The second characteristic of uh, manufacturing is mechanization from uh, mechanical. Uh, the mechanization, the automation, and the full uh, automation, and mechatronics, all these, Mechanization replaces human labor by machine power. So machines are using using now to do the things which the, the people used to do it before by hand, manually. Of course, this will increase the production and at the same time, it's a good tool to carry out various manufacturing operations. Advanced form of mechanization is known as automation. So automation is advanced type of mechanization. Use of technology of industrial engineering. So this is the third, third character of manufacturing. We use the technology of industrial engineering, uh, have been able to de devise the important improvement and increase in productivity by elimination of waste and inefficiency, thereby increasing production and reducing cost. So this is the third point, use of technology of industrial engineering. Fourth, use of computer data and processing equipments. It's widespread use now of computers in manufacturing uh, industries has made possible the handling of economic amounts of data and the solving of complex mathematical problems of high speed. The range of application of uh, computers is including now in the product design and the manufacturing process and production and inventory control, all these are uh, things which show that we apply the computers now everything and everywhere. Use of scientific method like industrial engineering operations, research, or management science, when we use operation research or the management, management, management science, this also, and doing quantitative methods and techniques to solve the engineering and managerial problems. Operation research is an aid in decision-making based on quantitative analysis. We go now to another point, which is the types of organization. So the, the previous one was the characteristics of manufacturing. We said specialization, mechanization, use of technology in industrial engineering, and use of computers data in the processing equipments, and use of scientific methods. We'll go after this into the types of organizations, like what are the types of organizations which we have we have manufacturing organizations, we have hospital organizations, we have airline, as, as example, uh, restaurants, retailers, and theaters. Uh, the inputs of each one of them, as example, the monetary, of course, it will be machine hours per shift, machine hours per shift. The outputs, numbers of units which you produce in the hospitals, the inputs will be number of beds, okay? And the outputs, number of patients. In the airline, number of planes, and the outputs would be number of travelers of seat miles flown. Seat miles flown for each seat. How many miles flew? They flew. Uh, restaurants, number of seats, and the outputs are the customers. In the retailer, the area of the stores, and the outputs, the results. Outputs means the results are the sales. In the theater, the inputs are the number of seats and the outputs exactly like the airplanes, number of seats. 
and the uh, outputs are the customer uh, divided by time. Customer divided by time. Customer uh, by time means, as example, 20 clients an hour. So we serve the outputs means I serve it, I feed 20 clients per hour. Here also in the theater, I uh, have been watching about 20 person per one hour. So this is the measure of unit of the outputs. So measure of outputs uh, differ based on the type of the organization, type of the company and type of the organization. Uh, those are the uh, types of organizations. This is uh, the first thing I want you to know here. And now we will go to the types of layouts, types of layouts. The first type of layout is the process layout. Like here, we have tier, a process layout, or we call it shop job. It's called shop job in some places. It's a formal in which similar equipments or functions are grouped together. So as example, stitching machines are together in one department. Stitching machines, are together in one department, such as all latest in one area and the stamping machines in another. So apart being worked on the travel according to the established sequences of operation from area to area, where the proper machines are located for each operation, we call this shop job. The type of layout is typical like of hospitals, for example, where areas are dedicated to patient types of medical care, such as uh, maternity wards and intensive care units. So divide like this, you put every category alone and apart. As long as they have similar equipment, similar machinery, they are together in one department. So like you see here, M5 together, M1 together, M2 together, M3 together, M4 means units. Let's say this is a intensive care unit. This is a homodialysis unit. Uh, this is um, the emerge unit. So each unit is having the same categories and the same tools. In a factory here, the stitching machines as example. So every unit of these units and ended by unit seven from M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. Each group of these groups are alone in one department, but there is mutual also relationship between the departments and what's finished from one department go to the next department. The second type is product layout, flow shop layout. On the product layout means it's based on the product, classified based on the product. A product layout are also called flow shop layout. Product layout is called flow shop layout. Is one of which equipments of work process are arranged According, according to the progress, progressive steps by which the product is made. Again, we will say again, a product layout are called a flow shop layout is one in which equipments of or, or work process, work process are arranged. Arranged based on what? Based on or according to the progressive steps by which the product is made. For example, the pass for each part is in effect, a straight line. So there's a line, products lines for shoes, like the product line for shoes, chemical plants, and car washes. You see the car washes uh, all, are all product layout. Okay. So the steps now till the product is done. Here, the product or product follows a fixed path through the production resources. The resources are arranged to minimize the material movement requirement. Look at this. So here, the operation go from step to another step. M1 goes to M2, to M3, to M4, to M5, to M6, and ended by M7. Stages of production move from one stage to the second, to the third, to the fourth. So, it's based till the product is totally finished. Till the product is totally finished. That's what we call it. Again, product layout. A product layout are called a flow shop layout. It's one of which equipment or work process are arranged according to the progressive steps by which the product is made. Okay. We'll move now into the third type. 
Group technology layout. Group technology layout. Group technology or cellular layout groups the similar machines into work centers. Uh, now the machines here are not similar to each other. No, the machines are dissimilar. Or cells to work for products that have similar shapes and processing requirements. Uh, a group technology layout is similar to the process layout in that cells are designed to perform a specific set of process. And it is similar to a product layout in that cells are decided, dedicated to a limited range of products. Group technology also refer to parts, classification, and coding systems using specified machine types that go into a cell. The product mix appropriate for this arrangement is similar to that of the shop job. So products are grouped in classes that have some similarity with respect to a processing. <clears throat> a manufacturing cell is designed for each group, consists of machines particularly adapted to the process required. Here it is. Yeah, different machineries in one group. Different machineries. For each group which is similar, we have one machine for them or whatever. Here it is. We have M1, M2, M3. We have M2, M5, M7, M6. And we have M2, M3, M4, M6. And ended with M1, M7, M4. Fixed position layout. This is like the planes and uh, the heavy industries. Is used in the heavy industries. Simply because you cannot move the product itself. It's very hard to move the product itself. In a fixed position layout, the product uh, is, remains at one location. Like the planes, just remember the planes. It's a fixed position layout. Manufacturing equipment is moved to the product rather than the vice versa. So all the feeding of all the product in one place. Construction sites, like as example, and movies lots are examples of the format of this format. And the planes as well. For tasks on large objects, such as the manufacture of an electrical generator, the construction of a building, or the repair of a large airplane, look at this, repair of large airplane or construction, the machines implementing the operation must come to the product rather than the product move into them. So here is example, the raw materials, the machines and the equipments and the labor, they sit, feed together uh, the aircraft assembly, they assemble together the aircraft and the aircraft finally is done and finished. The fifth type of uh, manufacturing systems is flexible manufacturing system or production system. The flexible one system is with automated material handling moving individual units of products between automated process, robotic uh, manipulation, often handle the material. So totally the flexible depends in most of the cases on the robotics. And the flexible depends in most of the cases on the robotics. Using computer controlled movement and process, a wide variety of products can be manufactured. All of this to be accomplished with very low setup time. Uh, great flexibility of functions and very little uh, manual labor. Uh, one of the things which is important in the flexible manufacturing system, one of the things which is very important in the flexible manufacturing system is that it depends on little labor, depends on little labor. The diversity of possible uh, manufacturing system or the rapidly, diversity are rapidly changing technologies because once change, the technology change, manufacturing system may also be changed, makes detailed considerations of the design uh, beyond the scope of the text. Why we should care about the facility layout? Uh, it influences actually on the efficient layouts and the manufacturing function. The manufacturing function also is affected by the facility layout. The good layout help to manufacture good quality and less manufacturing costs. Long distance movements 
should be avoided because we don't need to shift and waste time in moving the product from one stage to another stage. Full utilization of area and workforce. You used the space area, the best use. This is one of the important things why we care about the layout. Full utilization, you use it. It minimizes the lead time and production delays. So no delays between one stage and the other. Everything goes in time, no waste for the time. So and time is money, so you don't waste time. It helps to improve quality control and inspection. The way the system is designed will help to improve quality and inspection. Now I came to the end of this uh, unit and I will just ask some questions about the, uh, We'll go to a question and say, discuss types of manufacturing layout. Discuss types of manufacturing layout. This is my first question today. My second question is, what is the importance of optimal manufacturing layout system. So what's important, why it's important for a good manufacturing layout system? Those are the two questions for the production today. Uh, those are our two questions today for the production. And uh, yeah, so I want you, my dears, just to work on these two questions. Thank you so much. I will be here like around five minutes here waiting for your answers. This is the first question for today. Discuss the types of manufacturing layout. We talk about five types of manufacturing layout. And what is the importance of optimal manufacturing layout system? And this will be the second question today. Shall be waiting for your answers for around five minutes here before we move into the next video. Thank you so much. Thank you.